Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to another episode of One Man and His Boat. And in this episode, what are you getting? Well, you are getting how to keep warm, dry and safe when wearing your rain gear. So hi everyone, thank you very much indeed for joining us and you got past the intro, so very well done on your part. So before we're going into uh, your royal skins and your rain gear, what I wanted to say is thank you guys very much indeed for everybody that's bought merch from us. Yes, there's been a, quite a good influx of uh, orders and a lot of people are very pleased indeed for uh, actually getting their merch and you can get your merch too by going on uh, omhb.com and going on the website and get your uh, merchandise. Uh, also, what I'd like to thank is everybody that's put a suggestion in from Christmas. I mean, the suggestions for vlogs, uh, what we should do next has been outstanding and we're looking forward to putting all these ideas onto the table and seeing what we can bring to you guys. Right, let's get on with the rain gear, shall we? So guys, the first lesson that I was ever taught by my father is uh, about how to board a vessel. Now, these days we are so lucky we can actually get buoyancy aids before we even get down onto the boat. Back in my day, uh, what we used to have was just a, a little bit of chain and some footing and you had to make sure you had your three-point contact, which is still a bust today. But we're lucky enough we've got buoyancy aids now. Uh, my dad was always uh, frightened in case we fell down in between the boats and this would help you uh, if that ever did happen uh, to swim away from the danger area. Now there's no point in actually having your buoyancy aid open like this because it ain't going to do nothing. What you have to do is make sure it's zipped up like so, excuse me, <laughs> and make sure you're clipped in properly. That way, the buoyancy aid will work correctly. Nice and safe. So guys, what we're going to go on to first, the most important thing that you have to protect is your hands. My God, these are the tools of the trade. Without your hands, there's no point in working. And what do we use to cover them? Well, we just use waterproof gloves, just like you see here. Now, these are about eight to 10 pound a packet. Uh, I've got extra large gloves. Uh, poor Jeff has to get uh, slimmer ones because he's got wee baby hands. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you always see what he's doing at the back of the camera. But what I like to do foremost, what I like to do foremost is actually um, put these gauntlets on. Now these gauntlets will protect your, your hands from going actually inside the creels and I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. And the reason I put these on is because if you don't, all you get is scratches up and down your arm from the actual mesh on the creel itself. And what will happen with those scratches is nine times out of ten they'll get infected because the, the, the muck and the rubbish that's out there will get into the cut. I mean, I'm talking for experience here, guys. So everybody that's new wants to come to the job, get yourself gauntlets. That's the, the best way forward. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, demonstration right now. Right, guys, as you can see here, we've got the basic creel and I've took my uh, gauntlets off for the second. Now, obviously, we're going to be in here a lot and when this is all wet and stiff with scars, i.e. barnacles, you can see why it was scratched the inside of your arm and outside of your arm. Whereas the gauntlets, they will protect everything that you do inside the creel. Now you can imagine if you're pulling two or three hundred pots per day, how much sore that arm would get. So for £10, £15, get yourself a set of gauntlets, guys. So guys, if you're a tough nut like me and you'd say, bleh, to this Scottish weather, eh, 
what I want to talk to you about next is the outer gauntlets. Now, yes, we've got the inside gauntlets, but what happens is your glove gets all wet and soggy and it's just, oh, after a, a couple of fleets, your fingers are absolutely numb. So the best idea is to protect them from the elements as well and get yourself a set of outer gauntlets. Now, you've seen me use these a lot before and you can get them in all sorts of various styles and obviously costs, but I will say this, with all oil skins, rain gear, you pay for what you get. If you buy a cheap set, don't expect them to last because it's a rough job. Uh, when you're working creels, especially, you're rugging and tearing at everything and uh, basically you will get tears and all that, especially in the cheaper gear. That's why I always go for a, a, a better brand name stuff. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but you do what you think's best for yourselves. So guys, what I want to talk to you about next is your feet. Now, there's nothing extra safe than your feet. Uh, obviously your hands is very important, but your feet is a must. Now, what I usually use is these kind of wellies. Uh, they've got a steel toe cap and a very good grip on the bottom. Now you can get all sorts of different types out there. And uh, I'm gonna put a few in the description below just to give you a rough idea about what's out there. Uh, but for me, these ones are the bee's knees. So we got the... Uh, extra tough uh, from Tyson Ships Riggers and I had a wee play with them this year and I found them very comfortable indeed and they'd be absolutely fantastic if you're a seasonal fisherman. If you're taking the best of the weather in the summer, they're the boots for you. But for winter time, when the boat's a wee bit rolly and pitchy, I would definitely suggest something with a better grip on the bottom uh, because I was actually finding on the choppier days that uh, you were having to place your feet a wee bit more safely and a wee bit more further apart just to keep your balance. Whereas these ones, you can run up and down the deck all day long and uh, there's, there's not any difference, there's not any difference. So guys, because there's no much difference between uh, the winter weather and summer weather, especially for water temperature in Scotland, uh, we have to do our best to actually keep ourselves nice and dry, safe and warm. And how do we do that? By using these braces. Now, these are guy cotton braces and I think these are fantastic, especially for wear and tear. Uh, obviously, another link in the description below just to um, show you how much these cost. I mean, I think it can go anywhere between £110 to £140 for a set of bottoms, depending on where you go. I could be wrong with this but the description will tell you exactly what you need to know <laughs> so as you can see that the price of this items are, are tallying up already we've got a set of boots that i never mentioned the price on so there's another blooper <laughs> uh, they'll be about between 60 and 100 pounds depending on where you go but uh, tops 110 140 pounds then we're going to go on to the the tops they're about the same again uh, so it's all adding up all the time so to get your basic kit for actually going to sea you're going to be spending uh, between a thousand to twelve hundred pounds right guys here we are halfway through the gear we've got our safety wellingtons on we've actually got steel toe caps we're nice and comfortable and we've got halfway up with our uh, braces on but i can't overestimate enough uh, to keep your top warm and dry now the wind factor will take the wind chill down a good bit so the stronger the wind the colder you'll be so the best way to protect yourself is by wearing a top and I so happen to have one here funnily enough and once again it is no good just being open like that you have to keep yourself out of the elements and get yourself buttoned up properly there we go now I'm ready for the sea <laughs> no I'm not wait a minute we need something very important indeed, which is coming up next. So guys, what is the most thing that is going to save your life? It's going to be one of these, the life jacket, the most important critical piece of safety equipment you can have on your vessel, on your person, which is the, the ideal thing. Now this life jacket here will cost you between 180 pounds to uh, 400 pounds, believe it or not. And uh, for your MCA, you must have it serviced every year. Now, uh, I've had this one for a, a wee while. It's been serviced twice already, but it's getting to the point that it's going to be needing replaced soon. Now, what I have in here is I have a PLB, a personal location beacon, and I'm going to show you that in a little minute. Uh, and also a, a strobe flashing light as well. So if you do go overside at night time, hopefully folk will be able to see you no problem at all. Now, for your life jackets, what I suggest is you keep this gusset uh, strap on because this is what keeps the life jacket working. I'll show you. The mounted people 
that I see actually just like that. That's not going to do nothing. As soon as you hit the water, this will inflate and what will do is it will want to juke up. Now the, your bottom half will, will not go into the water correctly. You will not float the way you're supposed to. This, this will keep you afloat. Put that in there. You see, see the difference already? It's what to keep you up. So guys, get this on, get it clipped in, because this will be your lifesaver. I know it's uncomfortable, however, after a wee while, you don't even know it's there. So guys, I quickly want to talk to you about a PLB. What is a PLB? So it's, well, it's a per personal location beacon. And what it does is it actually um, transmits a signal up to the satellite and then straight to a rescue boat if you get dumped over the side. However, the one I have is not automatic. You actually have to manually um, activate it. Now that's it there. Now that's uh, out of date on uh, April 2024, which is uh, coming up very soon. And these little units here will cost you between 180 to 300 pounds, depending on where you go and obviously you can see my uh, strobing flashing light there you can buy them for £25 now all these are very helpful indeed especially if you work at night on vessels luckily for uh, us we are the daylight fishers so uh, we're, we're not really dependent on it but it's always nice to have it there just in case you need it right guys this is more uh, personal experience and uh, I want to say it for your personal safety as well always carry one of these get yourself a wee gator knife holder and a knife it's, it's a must because if you go over the side with the rope just say it gets uh, you get a bite around the leg and you get dragged over the side that is what's going to save your life when you're getting dragged over hopefully that it never happens but you never see never at fishing simple as that always keep a knife handy But there we go guys, that's us now ready for sea. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. It's just some more an information vlog for people that don't know or people that want to get into the game. Now you are going to have to have a hefty bank account even just to get to this stage. <laughs> uh, never mind a boat itself. And we might go into that later down the year. Uh, we've had a few suggestions on, on uh, that type of video. So uh, Jeff and I are going to talk about that after we come off this camera. Uh, and I just want to give you a little information update as well. Now, uh, Jeff really wanted to get something out this week and uh, he wanted to come up and film me making the creels. Now, I'm going hell for leather to try and get these creels finished because I'm going for uh, a look at this arm at the end of this month, which is only eight days away. And uh, basically, I don't have time to uh, film what I need for you guys because I want to do this right. I want to make sure that you guys know how to build a creel correctly and we need to do that from the bottom up. And unfortunately, we're still waiting on the sawmill. Uh, I've emailed Hannah and uh, I've still not heard anything back yet so we'll just see how things go hopefully she'll get in touch soon and we'll get everything sorted out but I will warn you now guys the, the, the vlogs might be a bit topsy-turvy until we get everything all in place so thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video give it do the usual give it a thumbs up uh, write a comment below if you have any questions and please 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 subscribe to the channel you got anything else to add Jeff? No, nope. no, nope. absolutely brilliant. Right guys, stay safe until your next vlog. All the very best, my friends.